you are watching Well of the Fathers. We honor you, we appreciate you. Our Fania, Ketevan, Oshi, Brigados, Kanabahaya. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We thank you for such a wonderful time. We thank you for such a wonderful day that you have made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the light. We thank you for the sun. We thank you for the gift of life. We bless you, Holy Spirit. Moshia Fanahatia. We thank you for granting us wisdom and understanding to journey in this part. We bless you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Hallelujah. Ah, it's been a wonderful time uh, sharing with us on the part of increase. Hallelujah. We are looking this morning at the part of increase. Praise God. Uh, I will want you to understand that, that it is God that gives increase. Hallelujah. Uh, for for this, the scripture said in Psalm chapter 85 verse 12, he said, Yea, the Lord will give what is good. The Lord will give what is good and our land we yield her increase. The Lord will give what is good. In other words, what will necessitate and uh, activate increase will come from the Lord. The Lord will give what is good. And the Lord will give wisdom. The Lord will give favor. The Lord will give inspiration. Now don't forget that I said in dealing with success, there is God factor in success. Now here he's telling us that it is God that give what is good. Then our land will yield her increase. Hallelujah. In our Isaiah chapter 51, uh, from Pastor said, listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord, look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Now look to Abraham your father, look unto Abraham your father, and to Sarah who bore you, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and increasing. So increase is from the Lord. Hallelujah. I want this fact to be established and say in your heart that increase is from the Lord. I called him alone and blessed him and increasing. Then for the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her worst places. He will make a wilderness like Eden and a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Praise God. So the Lord will give increase. Now Paul said, I planted Apollos water and the Lord gave the increase. So Paul acknowledged that he labored. That's why the uh, scripture said, except the Lord build a house, they labor in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchman watches over the So it is God that gives increase to our labor. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to understand this. I want you to be part. I want you to rest in your heart that increase is from the Lord. So the Lord will give increase. Hallelujah. So I will also see uh, another scripture. Now, because we're looking at the part of increase, and the principles of increase, how increase can uh, come to, to a man. Hallelujah. Now we see uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11. He said, wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished. Gain, a wealth that you gain by falsehood. I always say this. When you bring, um, when you cheat a man, or when you do something false, and uh, bring on just something and add to your to your wealth, you have actually uh, put virus to your finances. So wealth gained by dishonesty will diminish. But look at this. But he who gathers by labor will increase. 
He who gathers by labor. So in seed increase, looking at increase, the number one, the principle of increase is that you must labor. You must labor. Look at this. But he who gathers by labor will increase. Now God had increase in mind when he placed Adam and Eve in the garden. So the part to increase, God has to give them work. So they have to labor in the garden of Eden to dress the garden. So the scripture is saying emphatically here, but he who gathers by labor will increase. Now, <laughs> amen, the scripture said that whatsoever we do and shall be blessed, that the man shall be blessed in whatsoever. So that which he does is the labor, is the work. So there was something that God will bless in your hand. Don't just say, you know, bless me, bless me, bless me. So God is looking at something. What is it that is in your hand? What is it that God will increase up? So there must be something that the Lord will increase up. I love this scripture so much. It's a he that gathers by labor. So God wants us to gather by labor. He will increase up. That's why the scripture talks about labor, talks about work. He talks about the field of the slothful man. He doesn't labor. He has a field. You see, you may have a field, but you don't labor in your field. That's why uh, sometimes I say to us, we must pay attention to that scripture. He says, set a man diligent in his work. So in his work, so that's a place he is laboring. He is diligent in that work. And the scripture said that the man will increase up. So we are seeing something here. He who gathers by labor will increase up. So God is there to increase you. All the men that have experienced increasing, they are men that labored. Jacob labored. Jacob labored under Laban. Now, I want to say this again. You see, I have established a fact. Uh, the first principle is that there must be labor. Now, secondly, hallelujah, there must be labor. Then secondly, hallelujah, now that you must be faithful. You must be faithful in that which God committed to your trust. You must be faithful. Now, whether you are serving someone else or in your own fire, I've seen, you know, some men serving some people, they are not faithful. I've also seen men that are not faithful in their own fire. In their own fire. So it is demanded that you are faithful. Or the, uh, you know, the scripture said that a, a, a steward must be faithful. Now Jacob walked with Laban. Now even though Laban was cheating him, Laban cheated him ten times, but he said, my faithfulness must speak for me in time to come. I want to say this to any man. Anywhere you are walking, anywhere you are serving, be faithful. And I want to, to, to know whether you have been cheated, whether you have been deprived, one thing that is sure, God will honor that faithfulness. God will honor it. Hallelujah. God will honor it. Jacob said it, that my faithfulness will speak for me in time to come. And we saw that clearly, that God, that his faithfulness caused him to be outstanding. Praise God. His faithfulness caused him to be outstanding. So when we are joining on the path of increase, we must be faithful. Then another point, the third factor I, I began to lay emphasis upon is consistency. Being consistent in what you're doing. Hallelujah. Paul said, if you do these things and the faith not. So the blessing, the increase is in continuity. In con don't just do something once and stop and say it is not yielding. Don't just do something once. Like we saw Isaac. Isaac bombed the ground. Isaac labored in the land. The uh, scripture said that, you know, uh, he sowed in the land and he reaped. Not only that, he dug the well. What happened? The Philistines covered with the earth. 
He went further and dug another well. The Philistine also came and uh, strove over it. He went further again. He dug another well. He was consistent until at the point God saw his heart, God saw his labor. He's consistent. And uh, the Lord said to Isaac, This is your, your place. This is your reward. I have made room for you. In this place, you shall be fruitful. In this place, you shall be fruitful. So when we want to increase, when we are expecting increase, we have to be diligent. We have to be deliberate about it. We don't have to be casual. Hallelujah. We don't have, it. We don't have to be casual about it. We have to face it. We have to face, we have to we have to be consistent in that which we are doing. Last week I said something very interesting on consistent. I rather pray 30 minutes every day than to pray 10 hours in a day. And for the next one week, I have not prayed. I rather study uh, a chapter of a Bible than to study uh, five books of the Bible in a day. In the next one year, I have not studied anymore. I rather saw one naira, ten naira, hundred naira, two hundred naira consistently than to sow once and I will never sow again. So we must imbibe this principle of consistent. Whatsoever your hand find it to do, do it with all your heart. Now God believe in consistent in whatsoever. That's why a priest can be given assignment every morning, light a candle. Every morning, light a candle. And that is his assignment. That is the assignment of the man. Hallelujah. Praise God. They see something in the book of Psalm. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 19. Psalms 19. God was talking about this song. Verse 4. Okay, let's start from verse 1. The heaven declares the glory of God. The firmament show his handiwork. Day unto day utters you know, speech. And night unto night reveal knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their walls to the end of the world. Look at this. In them he set a tabernacle for the sun. So God set a tabernacle for the sun which is like a bridegroom which is now, he says something, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. The sun coming out. Now, the word bridegroom there is a symbol of a happy man, a man that is rejoicing. Now, because that is his day. So the sun acknowledges every day as his day. So the sun is consistent. Never fail one day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, as he coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run his race. To run his race. It rising is from one end of heaven and is secured to the other end. So the sun rises to run a race. Now he rises like a bridegroom. Hallelujah. Rejoicing like a strong man, full of energy, enthusiasm. To run his way. This is my assignment. I have to be diligent and consistent. I have to be focused on it. No wonder. Look at what I said. And uh, there is nothing hidden from it. it. In other words, by that singular assignment, by that singular assignment given to the sun, everything under the earth, enjoy the sun. Take advantage, benefit from the sun. And I want you to understand, by that single assignment that God has given to you, it has potency inside it. It has the potential that every man can enjoy from it. It has something inside of it, but our attitude towards it, don't ignore it. No matter what God put in your head, that's why when, when, when David was about to die, he called Solomon his son. I think in First King chapter two, he said, "I've gone the way of all the earth. Be therefore strong and show thyself a man 
Hallelujah. Show yourself a man to walk in his ways, in the ways of the Lord. Praise God. To keep the charge of the Lord, to walk in his way, to keep his statutes, his commandment, his judgment, and his testimonies. As it is written in the law, that you may prosper in all that you do. God didn't just say that you may prosper. But you see, very specific in all that you do. You may prosper in all that you do. And wherever you turn. And in wherever you go. Hallelujah. In all that you do. Now I want you to take note here. I began to say, firstly, that the Bible said the Lord will give what is good. And our land will hear that increase. So we must trust God for increase. Very important. We must lean on God for increase. Then, hallelujah, then faithfulness in what God has called you to do. Remain faithful to it. Be accountable to it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Give all thy strength, thy energy to it. Handle it as if there is no tomorrow. Praise God. Hallelujah. And your faithfulness will speak for you in time to come. Then I'm talking now consistent, being consistent in whatsoever you are doing. Just face it every day. One day it will just blow. If you do this thing and faint not. I want to demand of you don't faint. Don't give up. Don't give up. Apostle Paul said, uh, 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 have you received this ministry? We faint not. Don't faint. Challenges will come for you to faint. A lot of things will come to stop you. I want you to understand that Satan doesn't like your success. Satan doesn't want you to go forward. And this is the reason why he tried to discourage you. But I, I have seen a lot of things that came to, you know, discourage me. A lot of things on daily basis. But I decided, make up my mind that I must go forward. I must go forward. So, the scripture talks about labor. You must labor. You must work. It's not a cost to work. God gave Adam a job. Paul talks about it. Paul said, I labor with my hand. I labor. I work with my hand. He fed order. He said, follow after this example. Praise God. The only place in this life that we see um, um, a success before work is only in dictionary. Hallelujah. But labor, work, come before success. Praise the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will give you wisdom and understanding to comprehend what he has asked me to say this morning. I conclude to say that the Lord will give you that which is good. He will give you the inspiration. He will give you men. He will give you men. He will bring people across your path. Those that will water what you sow. Because Paul said, planted Apollos water. So God will give you men that will help to water your, your, what you are sowing. And the Lord will give increase to your uh, vineyard. In Yeshua's name I pray. God bless you. Thank you.